Yo, what's going on you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't the Reactions, the place where I react to everything I never seen. And today we got a special reaction. We're actually gonna be reacting to a trailer for a new series that's coming out on Paramount Plus called Knuckles the Series. Yes, guys, this is gonna be the official tie-in show to the Sonic the Hedgehog live action movie starring Knuckles himself, the man that like to put them paws on him. Yeah, man, I am very much excited about this. I was wondering when they were gonna actually show a trailer for this because this was announced like a couple years ago when Sonic 2 was made and now we have it and I think it's the perfect time for them to actually unveil it because as you know Sonic 3 is coming down the pipeline and it's gonna be out in holidays of this year so yeah this is the perfect way to segue into that epic movie that's gonna involve Shadow the Hedgehog and hopefully this show does a good job of sowing the seeds of what's to come for the next installment I want to see other things that revolve around the Sonic Adventure series I also want them to actually implement songs from the actual games because I feel like that's something that's been lacking in a lot of these movies. There are occasions where we do get the songs in the games like uh, we've gotten Hyper Potions, Friends song and uh, if I'm not mistaken Crush 40 is going to have their Live and Learn song up in Sonic 3 so let's get something from my man Knuckles man let's get that um, you know unknown from ME or a Ghost Pumpkin from the Adventure Sonic games you know. Like, I really want to see that, you know, like, just give us something that makes us feel like we're in the actual game world, even though this is a different reality. This is the live action reality where things are a lot fuzzier in HD. So, yeah, that's just my wistful thinking, man. But anyways, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. We're going to see how this is going to be. Hopefully, the production value is just as good as the movie. So I know it's a little more pricey, especially when you're doing a series and you're trying to implement these CGI characters. But I just hope that the detail on Knuckles is just as good as it was in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and see what it do, man. Here we go. No. No, they didn't. They didn't. Did they? Did they seriously put Nuck if you buck up in this shit? This trailer is already a fucking W, man. This shit right here is off the chain. And look at the references. Like he just ran past a sign and it spinned. <laughs> okay, classic picture. Hey. That's right, nigga. Tell him. I only remain on Earth because I made a vow to you and the monster. That's right, baby. A little deer or Dorito spot. Oh my god. Hey. This is gonna be a cat? Oh. Bruh. Hell yeah, get in the shape, son. Do work. Who is this Welder Willie looking motherfucker? Is that Keith Cuddy? Bruh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> right? What the fuck? But hey, at least Knuckles sees how it feels. Oh my god, the production value in this looks great. You thought, nigga. You gonna rescue him? No. He must learn to rescue himself. Man. Bruh. 
this right here did not have any right to be that good, man. I wasn't expecting them to use that particular song, but it is so fucking fitting for the theme of this show. You know, obviously it's Knuckles, so why wouldn't you have Knuck if you buck by crime, mob, man? That right there was off the chain. I wasn't expecting the production value to look this good up in this because this is a series, and usually they had to kind of pull back on those things, but it seems like Paramount really put in the time and effort to give us a pretty solid product that matches the movie counterpart. Uh, now we have Kid Cudi, who just did the theme song to Sonic 2, coming in as an antagonist for Knuckles. And I am interested in seeing who this organization is that wants his power. We already know that we have Gun up in this universe that's being helmed by the, uh, the general who always looked like the general from the Shadow the Hedgehog game, and now it's been confirmed that he is the commander of Gun. But now we have this other organization by this damn welding willy guy um, trying to get the power as well. And he has his own tech that can, uh, you know, kind of counteract all the attacks that Knuckle does, you know. So that's going to be very interesting to see how they handle that. How much is Sonic going to be involved, especially Tails? What's going to happen? And I, look, I like how... Uh, they have, you know, Knuckles with his human companion. You know, we already have Tom as the human companion of, um, you know, Sonic. But now we have this Wade Whipple guy as the uh, human companion of uh, Knuckles. So it's it's cool how they do that. You know, we have uh, Agent Stone, who's the human sidekick. Well, you know, even though Robotnik is technically a human. But you get what I mean. You know, Agent Stone, he's the sidekick of Robotnik. It, it's just great, man. Can we just get a sidekick for Tails? Like, he's the only one who doesn't have a sidekick right now. You know, besides Sonic. You know, he's the sidekick. But he needs his own human companion, you know. So um, make that happen, Paramount. And just Fowler do that for your boy man but uh yeah this right here was very good like I am just in awe of the CGI of this trailer it's like they have these men in black looking mofos just going head to head with knuckles and they look like they are actually utilizing one of his quills if I can say that I'm pretty sure knuckles has quills too you know because we see his hair kind of light up red and I think they're gonna utilize that energy from the quills I also like how they have Knuckles on a motorcycle, which is very reminiscent of Shadow the Hedgehog, the video game, if you guys remember that. Shadow, he was on a motorcycle. He was a badass. He had all the different artillery and stuff like that. The ultimate, you know, like, uh, asset for all the different edge lords out there, you know, who like to see dark, gritty shit, except in a more kitty package formula, you know? So, um, yeah. Yeah, this is looking really good, man. I can't wait to see what's in store for the Echidna Warrior. Let's go ahead and turn it up. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to you guys. What did you think about this trailer? Did you like it? Did you love it? Are you expecting to see some classical Knuckles themes like a ghost pumpkin soup or, you know, unknown from M.E.? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, I ask that you like and dislike this video. It doesn't have to be a thumbs up. It can be a thumbs down. Just do me the biggest favor and like this video. And if you really enjoyed it, share it with all your friends and followers on all the different social media outlets. Sharing is caring. But once again, this is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer. We ain't seen the reactions. I'll catch you guys next time for some more reactions to Sonic the Hedgehog the movie. Peace.